We got us some lucky red fish. Oh ah! What's up guys, Brandon J. Today we're on the most southern point of America searching for a lucky red fish. While this is the southernmost point of the United States, this does not even look close to anything I would picture when I think of America. However, it is Chinese New Year, and the theory is if you eat anything red, it brings you good luck. So today, Ryan and myself are gonna be spearfishing for a minpachi, which is a little red delicious fish, to hopefully bring in some luck for the new year. Now my tool for today is my pole spear. We picked this out because it's good for the smaller fish, and it also has red accents. So I think it tied into our theme perfectly. So while Brandon's rocking the three prong looking for those minpachi, I'm gonna take out this big red gun. I'm gonna do some super deep dives and see what else we can find out here. So a really unique thing about this spot that you might have been able to tell already is there's huge cliffs. Now that relates to underwater as well. So while I'm diving in that 60, 70 foot range, 20 feet to my right, Ryan can be diving 120 foot. We could be close to each other, but he could be way deeper if that makes sense. So kind of look for that while we're diving. It's a pretty cool scenario that doesn't happen in a lot of places. Oh boy. All right, here we go. The red mission has begun. However, if I see a cole, which I shot my first day out here on the big island, it was so delicious, I don't think I can pass it up. Ryan's rocking the big gun. Woo! <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, ready. Okay. Time. If you see another fish, it's a big red dot on it. Yeah. That's a pakakui. Okay. Drive up. Anything red. Yeah, red, red. It's a stud Dude, too. He's so red. Yes. He's so red. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Nice. Lucky us, bro. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's a fish right there, bro. That's the Hawaiian special. Wow. Yabby right there. That's the one everyone wants. This is it. <laughs> that's sick, bro. How pretty are those fish? Beautiful, man. Look at that. Dude, that's sick. That's a real fish, bro. Real fish. Hey, I'm not swimming close to you with that on your belt. <laughs> I'm 
This old eel came out. <laughs> oh my god, that was so scary. <laughs> a big old eel, bro. He's just like, <laughs> no, bro, the eel was wicked. Boy, fish don't get any more red than that. So as you guys know, we've been traveling a lot. We're actually packing up for another road trip right now. And by the way, whoever wrote love you on the back of my truck with their fingers, it's now just kind of permanently there. So I love you too. But today's video is sponsored by Dect, which is the ultimate truck storage solution that I've been using for years now. Deck drawer system is great because it gives all of the tiny items that would normally just be scattered in your truck a home. Not only that, but it also gets all the big bulky stuff out of the way too. These are my scuba tanks, which are extremely heavy. And both of these drawers are able to hold over 200 pounds a piece. And the best part is when you shut them, they are going to be weatherproof. So you can have all of your sensitive items in there. It could be an open bed. Mine has a cap on it, but if it rains, it is not going to be getting into those drawers, which is super nice. Also, when you shut the tailgate, there's no way to get out the drawer system. It's completely locked in there, so it is prevention proof. You can get additional locks as well. Load up, load up, yay! <laughs> there you go. The uh, maximum load for on top of the deck system is also 2,000 pounds, which is very heavy. I uh, just normally put a golden retriever on top of mine, but uh, it does not take away from the usability of your truck. So you can store your stuff and you can put like a freaking four wheeler or something on top of it too. Not only is the deck system weatherproof, secure, but it's also 100% made in the USA. It's also backed by a lifetime, no hassle warranty with customer service ready to answer all of your questions. If you want to enhance your setup and get a deck drawer system for yourself, go to deck.com slash Brandon and that's going to get you free shipping on your order. Again, that's deck.com slash Brandon. It's going to be linked in the description below. Deck, thank you for sponsoring today's video and honestly, thank you for being a huge partner here on my channel. All right, let's get back to the action. Made it out of the water. We got us some lucky red fish. I don't know if I explained this earlier, but these fish specifically aren't lucky. These are the Minpachi. But on today, any red fish eating any red item is lucky. So I'm sorry if that was confusing, but super cool. These things were hard to get. And then my boy Ryan, I told you guys he was going to be going after the bigger ones. He sniped himself a really nice fish, bro. How's that Uku? This is the Hawaiian Uku or the gray job fish or the green job fish. And this is like one of the most sought after fish out here in Hawaii. They're delicious. They fight hard. They're hard to hunt. This is it right here. This is going to be delicious. Woo! We're going to cook up these Mempachi and we're going to take this one home to Sam. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So <laughs> Ryan asked me, he said, yo, bro, you mind if I scale these fish while we're diving? And I was like, bro, no, I need them for the thumbnail. He's like, oh my gosh. And I just realized why he asked me. We have no easy place to scale them. So he wanted to do it while we were diving, but now he's getting after it. Watch out for the big wave, right? We got a big one coming in. Yeah, like, a, like an actual big one's coming. Woo! No, bro, how do we end up in these situations? Because it then? takes you two hours to suit up. <laughs> Yo, uh, <laughs> Ryan makes fun of me because I do take forever to suit up. Oh, big wave, for real. Big wave. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god, our man Pachi! Our man Pachi! Uh, Ryan makes fun of me because I take forever to suit up. Oh my god, another big wave. Oh my god, do I have it? <laughs> Imagine we lose all the fish during one wave. I don't even remember what I was saying, but just know Ryan makes fun of me. <laughs> Check out our site here. We've got our fish, we got our propane because again, there's no wood here, so kind of a thing in Hawaii when there's no wood you got to rock propane but then we have our incredible view this is where we we're diving all the way around there super beautiful man again it's one of those times where every time we sit down to do a catch and cook it's like wow this 
is the most beautiful spot on the island and every time i do the next one i'm always like no 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 this is the most beautiful spot but i will say this spot is special and it's going to be hard to beat because of the incredible view but also because it's the most southern point of the united states of america i mean we are down here so i don't know it, it has extra points for that reason but it never gets old. So we got our manpachis here. All I did was gut gill scale, put some big old slices in these things, dried them off really well, and now some of that Hawaiian salt, which you just can't have enough of. <laughs> oh! That's a lucky fish fry! Yes. Do you feel the luck? Yeah! It's happening. 2022. I feel so lucky already. Haven't even taken a bite. It doesn't start until you take a bite of red. So here soon, we'll be lucky. So remember the deal, red is good luck. So Ryan and I have brought a few extra items to make the day even more lucky. Just in case we weren't able to get the Mimpachi. I wasn't super confident in myself and I did want the video to go forward. So I was like, let's get, let's bring some red stuff. So I'll, I'll show you the stuff I brought first for Ryan and I, and then I'll show you Ryan's stuff, which is the guy knows how to do it right. So I was saying when you need red, why don't you bring yourself a red bull? And we've got the red cans, which is pretty lucky. The fluid inside of it is also red. However, Ryan has next level setup here. Ryan, I'm on the edge of death here, so go ahead and show us what you got for us today. All right, so part of that Chinese New Year tradition a lot of times is ahi, and the flesh is just bright, beautiful red. So we picked this up on the grocery store on the way here. I can feel just by cutting it how soft it is. This, is. this has been aged. This is like sushi grade, but probably 10, 12 days old and it's just gonna, it's gonna be like butter in your mouth. This is uh, amazing. Can you explain to me what these cabbage balls are here, man, please? That is something special. Okay. So what happened with these is we're actually just driving by Super J's and I realized that my boy Brandon had never had a la la while he was here in Hawaii and I was like, these are the best ones. We gotta stop, they have absolutely nothing to do with Chinese New Year, but they are fantastic. All right, so my boy brought some red fish and a surprise mystery item. I brought the Red Bull. I feel like that is very on brand for young Brandon J. But we also have the Minpachi, which is right here. And I think it is about done. It is smells so, so good. Now, this is not like the cole. You cannot usually eat everything. It's can't a little eat more the delicate. Bones. You can't eat the bones. You can eat anything you can chew. It's good. It's just super, super like soft. flaky. Yeah, super. super soft. Now I know why they were coming off the spear. Yeah, they just disintegrate. That makes more sense. But that's also why people love them. No, they're great. They're really great. I heard a lot of people talk about these my first time ever coming to Hawaii. But they were so tiny. It's almost like picking crabs or something. Yeah. You gotta like really pick through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there are some little bones in this. But that's because I blasted every single one of these in the ribs. <laughs> so. I have never been like a super manpachi lover. And I think that I'm not sure if I'm cooking them wrong or what. And you guys out here in Hawaii, you gotta let me know. It's like, they seem too soft and not, you know, like, The flavor's fantastic, but I just feel like they're soft. I don't know if I need to cook them more. I'm gonna try and experiment with these other two right here and see if I cook them more like a cole and maybe you can eat the whole bones. But I don't know if the temperature's not hot enough or it's too hot or it's too short or too long. Let me know down in the comments below if there's any way to, to fry up these menpachi and make them kind of, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what I have here. Uh, you have to explain it. It's something from the side of the road <laughs> that you picked up. Wait, so we don't eat the grass. Don't eat the outside green stuff, eat the inside green stuff. <laughs> Unwrap it. Inside green stuff? I so that's a tea leaf. We're not eating that part. Okay. That's what keeps it nice and moist. Okay. I don't want to be disrespectful, but this looks 
really weird. Bro, you're gonna die. Okay, see, that's the inside green stuff. That is the taro leaf. Okay, hold on. That's very strange. And you want me to eat this? I want you to eat that whole thing. So basically, you've got some cold pork fat, smoked, it steamed. So slow cooked, delicious, epic. You're gonna wait till you see this guy's face. Let's see it, bro. It's a meat pocket. It's a meat pocket. It's a wonderful meat pocket. Okay. I was freaked out by the by what was going on on that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. I was like, I don't know what we got on the side of the road. But it's a little meat pocket. It's good. It's it's like a kind of like a cool, a cool pulled pork inside of a exactly right weird. It's like a salty, huh. fatty no, pulled good. pork. Oh, great. Wrapped in some greens. Yes. I was worried that. This was not gonna be good, and we have all this delicious food here, but now we just have all delicious food. Yes, bro, that side. That's what we're looking for. That's what we want, bro. That's what we're looking for. That's, Let's put these back in there. That's what we want. <laughs> that looks better. How are those crispy ones? They're, they're actually way better. I thought the first one was good, but these little crispy nuggets, they are, they're way better. They remind me of the cole on day one. That's how they're cooked, so good. All right, well this is all we got left. A little bit of ahi, I'll probably finish that up. We've got the la la pork. Lao lao. Lao lao. Lao lao. My bad, lao lao pork special here. And you might notice the minpachis are gone. Um, out of all three of those, I've really been wanting just a nice slab of ahi, so the fact that I got that today, super clutch. The lao laos caught me super off guard, but turned out good. My favorite though has to be the Minpachi. Not the first round. The first round was nice and uh, I don't know, it was what you expect. Nice soft fish, but then we extra crispied up the last two that we had and those, I was like mad that even had bones in it, that I had to eat around the bones. That's how good it was. So I would say that extra deep fried Minpachi, my ultimate favorite out of today. However, everything we had was good and I got to wash it off with a nice red, Red Bull. <laughs> so uh, a little bit of, you could definitely say we got to have a nice red meal and hopefully that brings us a lot of luck. And maybe the fact that you guys watched today's video brings you luck as well. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that wraps it up for today's video. Absolutely beautiful location, absolutely wonderful meal and a successful day out on the water. I've got a new species on my list now, the Mimpachi, which is super cool. Uh, I got to finally see the uku. Right, it's uku, right? Got to see the uku. That is a famous Hawaiian fish. It is the ultimate delicacy here on the island. And the fact that Ryan got us a good one, we're gonna be eating that in a few days. So I'm very, very excited. So I hope you guys like this video. It's something completely different, you know, searching for a color as opposed to searching for a specific species, if that makes sense. Anything red was fair game today, even the Red Bulls. So with that being said, that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to check out Ryan's channel. It's gonna be linked in the description below. He's doing all types of stuff like this on the island constantly. So if you like that, you're gonna love his videos. With that being said, that's gonna wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, we'll catch you on the next adventure where from here on out, I think we're gonna be lucky. Peace out.